Today sucked. <sighs> Let me tell you why. Today could eat a bag of dicks. I was super excited. This was my third load. And this one was taking me from PA to Chicago, or just outside of Chicago. It turned out to be a little horrific. I, I might be a little, a little traumatized from this. Just a, just a smidgen, just a little smidgen of, of terrifiedness. F fuck. And today went a little something like this. My first official load as a flatbedder and today I didn't get a Conestoga. I actually ended up getting a flatbed that I'm going to have to tarp, which is no problem, but uh, you're gonna see in a minute what I have to maneuver through in order to get under the tarp machine. To be honest, I'd prefer to just roll the tarps on it and be on my way. Yeah, so wish me luck, see you in a bit. All right, so you're not gonna fucking believe this, right? I hook up to the trailer. I know that bitch is locked. I did a tug test. I did everything I was supposed to do, right? So, uh, it's time for me to tarp up like I explained to you before. And guess what happens? I fucking dropped the trailer. I dropped the trailer and I can't figure out why. Look at this shit. Look at it. The thing is wrecked. The thing's wrecked. I am so happy that that happened here instead of on the road. I would have been wrecked. Now mind you, I mean, I'm not happy that it happened. Like, I'm not happy about it, but it happened and it happened in a secure location. Like, oh my God, I don't even, I can't even, when I think about it now, what could have possibly happened would have been way worse. So I am so thankful and honestly, just blessed and God I can't I, I just can't even I can't do anything but count my blessings that's what I'm gonna say for real now at the time I felt like a freaking idiot like a just a blundering idiot because here I am all these people are watching I got an entire crowd everybody's like oh look at that dildo over there he just dropped this trailer awesome Awesome. So I got a nice little crowd of fucking onlookers like, oh, oh my God. Ugh. Then I got these guys coming over that are running the place and they're like, oh, well, it happens. You know, thank God it didn't hit the floor. We can still fix that and blah, blah, blah. And then we walk over to my tractor and see that the fifth wheel legitimately busted. It just blew up right there on the spot. So it had nothing to do with what I did and or, or, or it had nothing to do with me. It was a malfunction. It just happened. I, I don't, I, again, I felt so dumb at the time until we all figured it out and they were like, shit, I have never seen that in my life. Never seen that. And thank God that happened because uh, it was getting pretty uncomfortable. It was. Now mind you, I wanted to get this done the night before, and thank God I didn't. I still had time on my clock the night before. It was roughly around 11 o'clock, so I could have went in there, strapped it, got it tarped, went out to the lot, parked, slept for the night, took off early in the morning, which was the original game plan, but I was tired. And thank God I did that because it would have been really bad. Really bad. I made it here. I'm in Cressona. I am at Sapa or AKA Hydro and I got four hours left on my clock. So I'm debating what to do here. So I'm picking up this load <clears throat> and this load is not due until Monday. And I'm going to Illinois, which is roughly about 600 plus miles. It's not due till Monday. Today is Friday. I'm debating on whether just going to sleep and doing this tomorrow because I have nothing but time. And they don't, according to this um, master bill of lading, they don't 
receive anything on the weekends. Receiving hours are between 6 a.m. and 2 p.m. Monday through Friday. Appointments not required, but recommended. Contacts for delivery appointments should be made through our receiving department. So, call shipping slash receiving department 24 hours prior to delivery. So, I guess I would call Sunday, but if there's no one there, I guess I just show up early on Monday. Um, this is uh, a confession of a rookie. I'm not really sure what to do there, but I will call. I'll try it. It is what it is. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I'm in Cresona, Pennsylvania for the night. I think I'm going to take it down, man. I'm shutting it down and I'll see you in the morning and I'll see you in the morning. There she goes. She's dirty. She's real dirty, but take a look. Hopefully I don't hit anything. Let's see. Your boy is strapping that up right there. All this. All this fun stuff. Right there. Headed to uh, Chicago. Should be fun. Just a little side note, it wasn't fun. No, 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 it wasn't fun. Okay. Truck number 722329. Okay, what can I do for you, Oscar? Um, well, I was just hooked up to a trailer, uh, getting ready to tarp my load out here in Sapa in Cresona, and um, my locking jaw exploded, and I believe I'm broken down. Now, forgive me, I don't know the proper procedures or etiquette. Uh, this is the first time I have to call breakdown. I'm, I'm as green as can be. Okay, well that's no problem so far, you're doing alright. Alright. Okay, number one, I need, I need some pictures, so you got pen and paper and I'll give you a phone number, we're just in the pictures. Okay, I don't know how I'm going to feel about this after I get this fixed, so let me send these pictures over to, um, to Breakdown, and I'll get right back to you. Alright, so I'm back at the yard. made it here safe and I'm really bored I'm bored so I'm gonna do some laundry get the laundry done uh, I already took a shower so yeah there's my Volvo right back there and uh, yeah I really wish I would have got a new one but it is what it is I mean the engine brakes work great, the brakes are great, the fifth wheel, not so much. Yes, there's a room open. Okay, let's get her done. Tide pods. Don't eat these, kids. Please don't eat these.
quick, quick question for you guys. Any of you guys, how long have you guys been driving? Long enough. Any of you guys ever seen a locking jaw just completely explode? Or just malfunction? Wait, you mean the jaw break? The locking jaw that goes I've around. I've seen the jaw break and I've seen the kingpin come clean off the trailer. <laughs> that literally just happened to me yesterday. Oh, yeah. I don't know if it's common. Yeah, the trailer, I, I didn't drop it completely. It was hanging off the, uh, the uh, rail on the tractor. So it was, I saved it. Yeah, I mean, I had it. I do uh, flatbed. Yeah. So I mean, I, I had enough time where I stopped it. I was able to get the landing gear down and all, but it scared the living hell out of me. Oh yeah, man. I used to work on them and everything, and I don't see that. I can't oh, I got a habit like a bad thing. I always dropped it on my first two months of driving back in 2009, no, 2007. When I first did, I had a, I had a reefer load and, and I backed on it, hurt a lot, got out, did all the stuff, walked out there, went and pulled out, and I felt my truck side, and I stopped. I said, what's it? I walked back, and my jaws never closed. The pin, the, my it, my lever kicked in, but the jaws never closed. Yeah. yeah. So I had to crank it back down, and I pulled up underneath it, and I took the truck side, I said, you need to fix this shit, bud. Yeah. I hope I could put this behind me and just move forward. Um, I'm not gonna let it scare me past the point where I don't want to do this anymore. I don't know. You guys saw the picture. You saw the videos. Um, did I do something wrong there, or was that clearly a malfunction? I mean, like I said, I tug tested. I heard it lock. I got out, checked it with a flashlight. It was locked around the kingpin. I don't know. I have no idea. But. I hope to get it fixed or a new truck or whatever whatever it is that they're gonna do I have no idea um, I don't know comment down below let me know what you think or what your experiences were or something you've seen I mean is this common is it a common thing I don't know I have no idea so yeah well, after talking to some old-timers I feel a lot better about this situation. A lot better about it. I'm like, man, am I gonna lose my job? Like, what's the deal? Why would something like this happen? And I mean, I love talking to old timers. You learn a lot from them. I do. So anyway, that was my day today. How was yours? I hope it was much better. I really do. You guys have a good night or a good morning or whenever it is that you're watching. I hope it's good. Bye.